uh, from the simplest observations available to any citizen that county money and resources are being used for this publicity venture. Uh, this is happening while serious crimes are occurring in Maricopa County and are ignored, while violent criminals reside in our county and are ignored, and when conditions in our jails have resulted and are resulting in multiple huge liabilities for the taxpayers and grave questions about the administration of the jails. You know that this further political stunt is only the latest in a very long series of similar wastes of taxpayer money and misallocations of resources by the sheriff. The need for much more stringent budget oversight has been clear for years, and the sheriff's further inquiry makes this urgent need even more glaringly obvious. Political publicity stunt should not be funded by the taxpayers of Maricopa County. The time to act, to begin to act, is now. The means to act is with the very modest proposal of Citizens for a Better Arizona, namely that the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors <coughs> simply assert that public funds should not be used for Sheriff Carpile's further investigation. <clears throat> it is a first step, but a step on the path to accountability and good sense. Many people, including myself, have written you about these matters. I am disappointed that none of you have felt the duty to respond in any way. Hopefully that will change today. Uh, may I remind the Chair that the speakers to follow are addressing an item agenda which they proposed and that the two-minute rule should not apply in this situation. These matters have been, been deferred for far too long and will require uh, time not only to be addressed, Could you wrap that up, please? but to correct uh, the dreadful plight of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. A new day has begun. Please dare to do the right thing. Thank you. Thank you. Diane Post. <coughs> My name is Diane Post. I'm an attorney, also a member of Citizens for Better Arizona and Mayor Rose Wilcox District. We believe that donated funds should not be used for expenditures that are not related to law enforcement and are clearly out of the jurisdiction of the sheriff, for example, the Board for Investigation. From a legal, fiscal, and policy perspective, this is very bad policy. Such a policy could lead to conflict of interest, corruption, and enmeshment of the public role of the sheriff in some kind of private activity of his own. We ask you to reject this action in the name of transparency and good governance. We want to thank you, Mary Rose, for signing the resolution and opposed to this, and we encourage the others of you to do this as well. Thank you. Thank you. Mary Lou Betcher. My name is Mary Lou Betcher, the O is silent, it's a good German name. I am a, a, a resident in Mesa. I've been in Mesa since 1962. I taught for 34 years in the city of Mesa. And I am against item 22 on the birther bill. We are spending so much money for other things that we need to have. We need to have uh, Sheriff Joe spend the money for things like uh, seeing people who are doing things that they shouldn't be doing. <laughs> and so therefore, I am one of these people who say that public funds should not be used for our piles, birth, their investigation. And Don Stapley is my person uh, who is my supervisor. Don, how do you feel about this? Do you want to vote yes or no for item 22? He can't respond here. Okay, he cannot respond, but I will tell him that I hope that he will consider voting uh, against item 22. And I didn't take my 22, uh, my two minutes. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, my name is Carolyn Cooper. Uh, I'm a member of Citizens for Better Arizona. I live in Tempe, so I'm in Supervisor Brock's district number one. Uh, I addressed the board during public comments on June 6th and followed up with an email to each of you on June 14th. 
The only replies I received so far were identical. They were the automated replies sent from Supervisors Brock Wilson and Kinesek's offices. Um, I was hoping to address uh, Supervisor Brock today, but since he's absent, uh, I'll just say that if he were here, uh, this is what I would ask. I was, I'm here today seeking response to my email question. My question was, will you call for the end of wasting our taxpayer money on birth or nonsense? I think this is a, a critical question. Uh, to me, this is really important. Uh, it is ludicrous to be spending taxpayer money and giving Arizona the the reputation of birther stand is what we're, they're calling us now. Because we're wasting taxpayer money to go investigate the birth certificate of a sitting United States president in his fourth year. Are you serious? So I would like to ask you if you could sign on to this and stop wasting our money in this way. I, I, this is, this is uh, speechless. Yes. Just amazing. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Paul Castaneda. Good morning, Chairman Wilson. Uh, I'm here as one of the co-founders and a member of the Board of Directors for Citizens for Better Arizona. And as I said on June 6th, more importantly, I'm a taxpayer and a resident of Maricopa County. I live in Northwest Phoenix, and Chairman Wilson, you are my elected representative on the Board of Supervisors. You are here to represent me as a voter, a taxpayer, and a representative, and a resident of District 4. So I have a couple questions around item 22 for you. Uh, does this donation cover all the expenses that were incurred to send the deputies to Hawaii? can't respond to your questions. Yeah. Uh, I'd like clarification. I believe this is an agenda item. I'm asking you specifically around that item. Okay, Steve, but like general items, you can, uh, or we could get uh, staff to respond. David, <coughs> Mr. Chairman, mm -hmm. you're allowed to respond with regards to this specific mm -hmm. uh, agenda item. Uh, okay. What was the question again? Again, does this donation cover all the expenses that were incurred to send a deputy, to send the deputies to Hawaii? Chairman, I don't know. My understanding is there's somebody from the sheriff's office who can address that question. So I, I don't know who it is. But is that true? Would you like to respond to that? Yes, sir. Would you like me to approach her from here? Step up here if you'd like to. Come on, Tom. Come on up, Tom. With regards, to, I'm sorry, first of all, my name is Dave Trombi with the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. I'm the Deputy Chief uh, Over Patrol Resource Bureau. Uh, so in response to the question, uh, does it cover all of the expenses? Because of the way our, uh, time or our payroll records work, the final amount is yet to be determined. However, what I can tell you is that the donation that is being offered uh, would cover the travel expenses and uh, a good portion of his, or if not all of his actual uh, hourly wages. There is, we believe, going to be some overtime. However, we do have the option and ability to potentially receive additional funds from another posse if they choose to do so, like they have in this case, to again also offset those expenses and to keep, uh, in Sheriff Arpaio's word, this out of the taxpayer's pocket. Thank you. <laughs> so it, it does cover their wages, apparently, because our bio, Mr. Sheriff Arpaio, in a press conference, did state that uh, this would not cover his wages, that the, dep the department was picking up those wages. So I'm, I'm kind of unclear as to, was Arpaio telling the truth at that press conference, or are you telling the truth here today that it covers the wages? I mean, there, there seems to be some confusion from what our pilot said on public record on TV and what the deputy just stated. I, I think you could probably follow up with the deputy for any clarification, but... Use the board. No. no. Yeah, use the board. Okay, does it also cover in that cost uh, any administrative fees for processing the payroll, um, any 
you know, any additional expenses that may have been incurred to send this deputy over there. Doesn't he work for you? Uh, nobody has an answer to that? Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, maybe uh, Mr. Trami can come back up and, and I have a question for him. Uh, because this issue is one that has come up. We have a lot of people here today. Um, I think we're going to talk on it. So, um, do, it, does, by the sheriff accepting these donations or asking us to accept them, is that saying that he knows it wasn't justified to do it? And, and I'm sorry, Supervisor Wilcox, I, I don't understand the question. If you could, one more time, please. These, these are donations that the sheriff is asking us to accept. Does this mean that he is saying publicly that he is going to accept donations because he knew the county money should not have been spent this way? Well, I don't believe so. Sorry. I don't believe so, but I, I don't wish to speak directly <coughs> for the sheriff. Uh, I'm trying to uh, let you all know, and everybody here so that has concern. That again, the sheriff is keeping to his word in ensuring that taxpayer money, as he stated, wouldn't be spent on uh, this this posse investigation. There's a timing issue when we have to send a sworn police officer and deputy uh, along with a posse man, uh, much like we do extraditions at times. Uh, so that in order to be able to do that, we have to front, for lack of a better term. Uh, the, the travel expenses to get that individual with that possum in out there. The fact that expenses were incurred um, is being addressed here today by this donation. And I apologize if I didn't answer your question, but... Well, I think you answered the best that you know. Uh, it just seems very odd that um, when we give money through our budget to the sheriff for public safety, um, we realize that there are extraditions, there are, there's travel involved, but uh, we have never had the instance where money's donated to us to uh, do public safety work that is justifiable. So I just have a real concern that uh, was this money used in the correct manner? Perhaps, Tom, you could um, look into this because if this money is being substituted because it was not used in the correct manner, perhaps there's a budget violation that we should look at. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. I had a couple more questions. Um, my next question would be, uh, does this donation cover all the costs to Maricopa County Sheriff's Office expenses? Uh, whenever Sheriff Arpaio holds a press conference to talk about the Burper issue, uh, he's there, there's other deputies, his security team is there. Is all that cost covered by this $5,000 donation? Because if not, he is still continuing to use taxpayer dollars to pursue this birther issue. Thank you. Sandy, would you like to comment on, not to him directly, but to us on this? Mr. Chairman, board members, um, I did want to just say a couple of notes to clarify the process that we have. Um, regarding reviewing expenses for the Sheriff's Office. Um, the Sheriff's Office at this point is on a line item review. Um, what we do is we review the costs after they're incurred. So what we will be doing and can do for the board on this particular issue is take a look at the travel and the staffing expenses once they hit, which they probably will be hitting in the June close, so I'm talking about probably sometime in July, and then we can report back. But we will be looking at the appropriate use of um, the travel, make sure it fits all of our travel um, procedures and policies, and as well as take a look at the total cost of the trip. So we can do that. We work very closely with the Sheriff's Office and uh, can report back at uh, probably in about a month. Thank you, Thank Sandy. You. Appreciate it. I think, uh, Sandy, if you can give us that report um, in a format that answers some of the questions that we've been asked. Is this the total cost, you know, travel, wages, and everything? What's the total cost of that whole trip? Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman and Supervisor Wilcox, yeah, we're glad to do that. I hear some murmuring in the audience about the fact that we work closely with the Sheriff's Office. Um, I just want to address that quickly. Of course, we do. Um, the Sheriff's Office is on a line item review, and it's necessary and appropriate for us to work closely with the Sheriff's Office on reviewing expenses, and we do that on a monthly basis. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. 
Next will be Randy Perez. Uh, I, I, your time is up. Good morning. My name is Molly Duran, and I live in Central Phoenix, and I have been a resident of Maricopa County for many years. I find it very interesting that Mr. Knesset just lent his seat because he is the person I am here to address today. Um, he is uh, the supervisor for my district. I was here on uh, the 6th, and I would like to thank you very much for putting this very important issue on your agenda today. <clears throat> so about a year ago, um, I began a citizen's attempt to understand county politics and have since attended many meetings in this, uh, this room. I have been surprised at the breadth of responsibilities this board has, and I've become clear about the influence of decisions made in these chambers. Earlier this month, I had the pleasure of meeting you, Mr. Kunasik, and was truly interested in what you had to say. When I asked you about Sheriff Arpaio, you explained very clearly that the voters of Maricopa County seem to be confused, that this board only controls the sheriff's money, not his behavior. But herein lies the confusion, because money is power, and in times of corruption like we see in our county, the ability to control that money is priceless. Clearly, we did not vote for bookkeepers. We vote for, voted for leaders to make sound judgment on our behalf. So my only confusion in regard to this board concerns its long-standing acceptance of unacceptable behavior. In January, I attended a meeting in these chambers and had the distinct honor of meeting Mr. Bruce Boynton, one of the original Freedom Riders of the 1960s. He spoke about his experiences and his obligation to do the right thing. As he spoke, we saw simple courage, profound leadership by action, and admirable clarity of consciousness that led him to action. When he was finished speaking, we all rose to our feet and gave him a standing ovation. And as, as I watched each of you rise to your feet, I wondered, what do these good supervisors find so easily applaudable about Mr. Boynton that they cannot find within themselves to do the right thing? So my request of you today is very simple. Tell the sheriff that you will not support our tax dollars being spent on a birther issue. Tell your constituents that you are concerned about crime, corruption, and injustice in our community. So I ask you specifically, Mr. Kunasik, as it pertains to item number 22, should public funds be used for Sheriff Arpaio's birther investigation? Thank you. Your time is up. Next, Randy Burris. Mr. Chairman? Um, I, Ms. Duran, Mom, Mom, Mom. Yes. and I enjoyed our conversation as well the other night. That was, uh, and I, I think you might have missed the part about charter government and you know, the difference between a, a city or a town and their statutory framework and, and a county. But um, nevertheless, one of the things that I, I heard a couple, one, two weeks ago, I think, when, when you last appeared was on, on the subject of the uh, expenditure of public funds. I think that probably the sheriff's office or the sheriff was watching as well, and I think that's what prompted this this effort to cover any taxpayer expenditure. So um, I don't, I'm a little confused. On uh, are you opposed to accepting uh, funds to offset the taxpayer? Uh, yes. Absolutely. I don't know how you could be confused about my opposition to this. And I'm very clear, as are many voters and residents of this county, that we don't reimburse money unless that money has already been spent. And obviously there is a lot of confusion in this room about how that money has been spent and whether or not it was legitimate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Third time, Randy, would you like to say that? Thank you, Chairman. I think if anyone's confused, confused it is Supervisor Canassi. We are not going to share our public credit card to advance costs on this birth investigation. That needs to stop, and that's why we're asking you all to take a stand today. We have a very simple resolution that Supervisor Wilcox has already signed. It says, whereas the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors provide fiscal oversight to all departments, including the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office and Sheriff Arpaio, where it has now been proven and established the fact that Sheriff Powell has used our taxpayer dollars to fund his birth investigation to determine whether President Obama is indeed a citizen of the United States, whereas this type of investigation is well outside the jurisdiction of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office, the duties and responsibilities of the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors, and whereas serious crimes that need investigation have occurred in Maricopa County, and taxpayers expect all available public resources 
who utilizes all these crimes, therefore be resolved the border supervisors call on Sheriff Arpaio and MCSO to stop using taxpayer dollars to fund Sheriff Arpaio's investigation yes. of President Obama's birth certificate. Yeah. It's a very yes. simple yes. resolution that you all have. You have chosen to do that. And yes, we are against donations. This is not, we don't want to privatize the Sheriff's Office. Yeah. We all play for public dollars to, to hold them accountable. So what, so someone else goes in and say they give them $10,000, they go investigate their own personal agenda? Come on. This is about holding public officials accountable with our taxpayer dollars. No, we can no longer advance on our dime, right. our money, and pay for someone to go to Hawaii where he says they literally nothing, and come back and say, well, oh, reimburse me on the backside. Someone bail me out and give me some place to pay for this. This is not the county government. You should know better than that. Mm -hmm. You understand how it works. So don't try to play as, oh, you don't want someone to donate some money. And opposite them. no, we don't. We want him to be responsible. We want you responsible. We call on you yes. to do this. So right now, we have, we have an attorney who should be funds. Mary Rose Wilkins says, no, they should not be, uh, these public funds should not be used for that purpose. Chairman Connect, I mean, Supervisor Connect, what do you think? Randy, I'm wondering, do you, do you want politicians to be able to direct law enforcement on what crimes to hmm. investigate and not investigate? Oh, we have in, Hawaii? I, I in Hawaii? The, yeah. The discussion here today. The budget, the budget dictates Hawaii. priorities. So by you staying silent on this, you're saying it's okay for our tax dollars, he asked the question, Chairman Wilson, to send a deputy to do nothing to go to Hawaii on a birth investigation. That's absurd. And how you cannot make that connection is beyond all of us. Mm -hmm. Right. So you have another question? Well, I, I was uh, intrigued by one of the editorials in the newspaper today that suggested that self-righteousness often has a weird way of walling off its practitioners from the harsh fact that they are often just acting like clowns. So how's it working for you? Yeah, how is that? Yeah, how's that working for you? And, and you're the first, well, we see you're first one to come to mind. In my you fit that deal just well, Mr. Knast. Yeah. Yes. So I just want to be clear that before we leave that, you guys, don't, you, the four of you, are, the three of you are for that. For using public dollars for that purpose, you're for that. That's right. And the rest of you are for giving it to Mary Birthday. Rose for furthering your agenda. Birthday. Thank you for your comments. So we got, is that enough? It's a silence. Right. Next on our agenda is Blue Rally. All right. All right. Those opposed, say nay. No. Oh, nay. I'd like to explain my vote, Mr. Chairman. Absolutely. It was about a year ago that this board was grappling with the dis difficult decision of how to deal with <coughs> misspending of over $100 million by the Sheriff's Office of detention funds. These are funds that were restricted in their use, and unfortunately we uncovered a massive, what I consider, fraud uh, on our Office of Management budget, budget and Finance, wherein the Sheriff's Office had hidden from the county a misspending of these monies because the Sheriff wanted to spend them on things. He wanted to spend them on not what the taxpayers had voted for them to be spent on in the detention area only. We <clears throat> wrestled with that problem and through, uh, fortunately through very, very good administration and through a resolution requiring the sheriff to submit to a line item budget <clears throat> review process, we approved the sheriff's operations and we've been able to reverse that problem. This is a microcosm of today's issue of that very same thing. In my opinion, two wrongs don't make a right. He spent money, county taxpayer dollars, on something that none of us on this board were ever given the opportunity to, to approve or disapprove in running down the President of the United States mm. uh, birth certificate, a matter that frankly had been proven and put to bed many, many months, if not years earlier. It, uh, was a waste of taxpayer money, in my opinion, and to accept the donations now, to cover that up, to fix it, in, if you will, like we did the $100 million plus uh, misuse of funds, just as long, and from a public policy standpoint, we have more to do with the sheriff than just the budget. We also supervise his operations to some extent, and we need to work with him, and, and I'm committed to do that, <clears throat> but, by accepting this $5,000 uh, from his own posse, which he controls, to cover up the expenditure of public dollars is wrong. And that's why I intend to vote on what I have on that. I, for many uh, months now, have been questioning donations uh, that have come in for illegal immigration. 
which is not really one of the um, mandates for public safety that the sheriff uh, carries out, in my mind, and also this one for the um, Hawaii trip. Um, I do think Don Stacey explained it very well, and I, I would like to ask um, our budget department and perhaps Tom Manos to direct it to look into this. If the funds were misspent, uh, we need to deal with that uh, because obviously this was not uh, something that was in the sheriff's um, uh, preview. Uh, he has made known that he will accept donations because in my mind that's saying you misspent the money. So I think we need to get to the bottom of this. We need to see how much more money was spent on this trip. Um, and we need to do whatever disciplinary action uh, we, that comes with that. Uh, but I will, um, I vote a no, and I hope that in the future we do not have any more of these types of donations come forward that are questionable. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. I guess regardless of what anybody uh, believes or thinks about the sheriff's or investigation or President Obama's, I guess, suitability or uh, meeting the qualifications or not to be the president. Um, whatever people's thoughts are on that, I'm deeply disturbed that people on this board, after what we've gone through, what this county has gone through, would would step out and purport to inject themselves into the, into a criminal. You know, telling the sheriff, telling the police chief, whoever, who to investigate, who not to investigate. Because I, I think what, what follows from the politicization of, of the investigations and prosecutions is what we've all experienced. So, so the tea part. Um, I, you know, I tend to agree. I think that, um, you know, there, there's plenty of other things to be concerned about our sitting president. but. I, I think his eligibility is something that's been resolved. Um, so I, I, I don't necessarily, I don't agree with, you know, the, the ongoing investigations, but I, I think the bigger issue is that we should not be telling law enforcement who to go get, who not to go get, um, and controlling, uh, I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it would be legal. Um, I don't think it would be um, proper if it was legal for us to second guess, you know, let these people speak, let these people commit crimes, uh, look the other way. If there are faults in any law enforcement organization, I think there are proper, uh, proper ways to address that. Uh, we've all been aware of ongoing uh, investigations into our former county attorney and others that I, I think uh, committed terrible crimes. But to, to sit here and, and I guess have the audacity here to, to say what to go after and what not to go after is is um, bordering on a, you know, I think going into a very dangerous area um, and precedent in, in our <coughs> form of government. Andy, I'm going to go on with that. Andy's out of time. No, I haven't responded, Mr. Chairman. Definitely. I, I strongly disagree that by not accepting donations, we're directing the sheriff in his law enforcement. We are not. He, we, he didn't come to us and ask us, and he never does. Okay? And I don't think it would be proper if he did. To be, to be covering up the expenditure of these funds for the purposes that he's spending it for is what we're voting on today. And I'm not going to be a party of covering up or backfilling. Thank you. Thank you. Right on. It isn't directing law enforcement. That's not what we're doing by saying no to these funds. I, I, I strongly disagree. And maybe I read more into your statement at the beginning when you said he never came to us before. I, I think that's a very chilling uh, that's comment to, to make, and especially after what you've about experienced. About the donation, about the, this is going to be covered by Posse. No, he just spent the money, uh, the taxpayer's money. And that's fine. He has the right to do that. 